and, and obviously make sure all of your all of your tubing lengths are fine allowing the carriage to go forward and back without it being too tight but generally this is a good little tip for making sure your ink flows through continuous ink systems are very very simple either your ink is not coming up the line in which case you can just syringe it through make sure you've got enough ink and enough uh, 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 your breathers are clear and if you've got a free flow of ink coming up the tube it has to be the the cartridge in which case all we need to do there is to uh, clean up the cartridge and if that doesn't work we simply replace the cartridge and it should be fine now uh, if your initial nozzle checks if your initial nozzle checks show the same areas missing each time or parts of the nozzle check are distorted in the same way each time this usually indicates that your print head is partially blocked by an area of dried ink let's turn the the camera back round now to show the comparison nozzle checks now let's go back here that's that's not bad that's just about that's just about in line now let's show you the nozzle checks again so we've covered We've covered the instance where you have uh, variable interruptions to the nozzle check. That's that here, which is either ink starvation or air getting into the into the line. Now over here, we have actually see that we've got an interruption in the same place each time. So let's go over this. If your initial three nozzle checks show the same areas are missing each time, or parts of the nozzle check are partially blocked by, <coughs> uh, 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 sorry, or parts of the nozzle check are distorted in the same way each time. Now the distortion means to say that may let's let's draw this on. If you've got one that's sort of distorted each time, which usually means that you've got a, a sort of a, uh, a, a the, the 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 line isn't uniformly displaced you've, you've actually got an area where it's we call these a skewed nozzle so that is a fault condition and of course this is a fault condition here and in each case it happens in the same place now this indicates that there's something amiss um, usually dried ink underneath the cartridge this is a this is a this is a, a um, an ink head and the, the, this is the underside of the ink head and you've got little bits of dried ink underneath there uh, let's bring it further up so you can possibly see that little bit of dried ink adjacent to a group of nozzles now that little bit of dried ink there will actually do the will actually do the damage let's bring a light through it's quite difficult to actually make sure that you can actually see that on as it comes out on a video so I've I've got my light there hopefully you'll be able to see that as it comes out on the video that little bit of dried ink there okay so that's the core that actually is is the thing that causes either a stubborn uh, um, a stubborn interruption to your to your ink flow uh, or a skewing of the nozzle where where the jet is just slightly distorted in the same place each time it's all down to dried ink <coughs> now uh, if uh, if you have if if you have this situation uh, we have a very nice uh, uh, inkjet training video that actually shows you how to clear this problem now it's inkjet training video number 27 entitled bad nozzle check basics which shows you how to clear stubborn dried inks so we won't repeat ourselves here so if you look at uh, uh, training video number 27 bad nozzle check basics we show you a nice easy way of of uh, progressively clearing this problem now the next issue, if you need to service the underside of your ink re reservoirs, for instance, if you find you've got uh, if you've got air appearing underneath, or you may even have a, a slight leakage, um, you will need to be able to turn the whole reservoir upside down. Now here we have a, a demonstration reservoir which we partially filled. Now usually we'll have this 
Imagine all these are full of ink. Usually, we'll have them all with the, the with the the uh, with the little uh, reservoir on the back there, and um, we'll have a breather on the back. Now, if we turn this upside down at the moment, we've got the main refilling bung in place, so ink won't come out of there. But out of the breather here, it will obviously fill up with ink, and we'll have ink everywhere. So what we do is in this particular style of reservoir, these are very good, these reservoirs, we take these breathers out. These are by far the best on the marketplace. You actually put your put your bung back in there, make sure all is well, and you can do this for every one of these. Okay, make sure every one is, is in. So you've got the main bung and the breather bung put back in, and then you can safely turn this upside down without ink going everywhere and you can actually gain access to the underside of the of the tubing and you can inspect what's going on in here if there's a leakage or what have you okay and you can you can uh, 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 you can apply to us for extra little bits of tubing and connector pieces and all sorts of extra little pieces here to enable you to make good your connection underneath so that's how you can service your your reservoir now never be tempted to raise the height of your ink reservoirs above their recommended level. Usually this means placing the reservoirs on the same level as the printer as, as, as we've done here. Raising up simply floods the printer with too much ink pressure and can result in your inks siphoning back into the printer overnight wasting all of your valuable ink and prematurely filling your waste pads. Now, as always, these guides are not only help. Uh, uh, the, the, these the, these guides are not the only help you're going to get from us. Now, before attempting any fault finding or remedial procedures, we're happy to talk over your printing issues before you start. You may phone us uh, during normal office hours on 01825. 764057 and talk to our ink specialists. In fact, I'm sure a lot of you have actually been given my home telephone number from time to time and you're very good. You you only phone me when uh, when when you're in a a, 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 a particular issue. Um, you I've actually talked people through over the weekend with their with their with their particular uh, pre pressing problems. <laughs> I'll give you my my office number. I don't think I'll give out my home phone number over the over the web, but my my office number is 01825 764 057 and you'll be able to talk to our ink specialists or for printer problems our in-house fully trained Epson technician Ian Richards. Now his mobile number for working hours during the week is 0759663576 I'll say that one more time 0759663576 Now finally a word of warning always perform any surgery to your CIS system in a safe environment this means preferably on the draining board of your kitchen sink. We provide these handy drip trays, these drip trays here, we sell them online for around £25. They're worth their weight in gold, they really are. They mean to say that you can move your printer from place to place with all of your system on there and if ever you have a, if ever you have a minor uh, disaster it'll, it'll hold your, 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 your small drips. Now. Uh, as I say, we provide these handy drip trays for CIS systems, which is fine to catch minor ink accidents, but unless you live alone or your divorce is already underway, um, don't risk spilling significant amounts of ink on your beautiful carpets. So, thank you very much for watching.